GitLab, the scary monster that runs after you when you turn off the lights. If you're a beginner, you'd be probably using GitHub because no one actually talks about how to center a div and upload the code to GitLab. In this video, you'll know what is GitLab, the difference between GitLab and GitHub, and which one is the right one for you. And if you want the monster to get out of your kitchen, then hit that subscribe button. First things first, let's define what version control is for those of you who are living under a rock or just really good at pretending to work while plain solitaire. It's a system that tracks changes to a file or set of files over time, like a digital time machine for your code. It's super useful for software development, especially when you have a team of people all working on the same project, and you need to know who broke the build. Just kidding, we all know it was definitely you because you wasn't able to center that dev. Okay, back to the main event. GitHub and GitLab are both platforms that offer version control and other fancy features like bug tracking, project management, and team collaborations. But what's the difference? Well, one big difference is that GitHub is a cloud-based platform, while GitLab is self-hosted. Basically, GitHub is like a fancy restaurant where someone else does all the cooking, while GitLab is like the backyard barbecue, where you have to do all the work yourself. Both have their perks. It just depends on how much you want to lift a finger, or in this case, a mouse. Another difference is that the pricing structure. GitHub offers a free plan for open source projects, as well as paid plans for when you want to keep your code a secret like that top secret project to make the world's best cheeseburger. GitLab also has a free plan for open source projects, but its paid plans are a bit pricier than GitHub's. Now let's talk about the focus of these platforms. As I said earlier, GitHub is pretty much the to-go platform for developers, especially for open source projects. It's like the cool kids table at the coding cafe. GitLab on the other hand is more of a one-stop shop for the entire development lifecycle, from planning to development. But there's an issue of open source and GitLab is open source, meaning anyone can view and contribute to the code base. GitHub on the other hand is like the popular kid who never shares their toys, meaning it's all theirs. So which one should you choose? It really depends on your needs and preferences. GitHub is a solid choice for most developers and projects, especially open source ones. It's user friendly and widely adopted, kinda like the iPhone of the coding world. GitLab may be the better fit for the large organizations for teams that need more advanced features and control over their infrastructure. But, but, if you want to know why you're writing JavaScript wrong, check out this video and I'll see you in the next one.